now we have Cecilia Tivir and Karina Matimbe uh, presenting on Bring Django Girls w Workshop to Mozambique. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's such a pleasure being here to share our experience with you. Uh, so my name is Karina Matimbe, and she is Cecilia Tivir. We are uh, ITs from Mozambique, and we would like to share a bit about how it's been uh, the experience of organizing the workshop of Django Girls at Mozambique. Okay, okay morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Cecilia Tivir. I work as ICT, IT support. Uh, I work with a server that using Django apps to maybe uh, to know how many people are or having or are suffering from TB all, all over the country. And now I'm working as IT support networking. And I am organizer of Maputo and Matola Django Girl Workshop. Uh, I'm freelancer and I'm volunteer for Africa Code Week. Um. So um, I work as a, a, a organizer element for the OpenMRS uh, conference, global one. I don't know if you ever heard about OpenMRS is a um, global uh, community that uh, works with development of EMR, a electronic record uh, medic for medical information of the patients. Uh, so I work too as a freelancer. I work as a business analysis, mainly with health informatic systems. And I work too as a Django Girl, uh, Maputo and Matola organizer. So I'm going to talk about us, how did we meet, and how did we start doing that, this together. So me and Cecilia, we were colleagues at the university. Both were doing computer science, uh, and both were heads of classes. She was one year on top of mine, <laughs> and we became friends because we were like the only girls in the in the in the university uh, doing the same course and we have started um, joining together on uh, organizing speeches uh, sharing knowledge with girls about the uh, IT and we have started working together after some few years in um, health informatics systems um, so here is an example or uh, a map of the places that or Django Girl were organizing all over the years. Um, we can see here in Mozambique that we have uh, two uh, locations. Uh, the red one was the first one, it was uh, on April this year, and the blue one is the next one that we are organizing uh, that is coming soon. And uh, how did have things started? Uh, I met by Lady Spoa, Brazil, in 2016. And then they called me to be a part of the coach team. Then I uh, accept that. And I, li I like it and I love uh, the environment that they created for introducing girls, how to code, how to use Django, how to create uh, blogs. And when, Anka, when I came back to Mozambique in 2017, I start searching for people who, who were developing apps in using Django and it's a community that support girls in ICT. Then I found Jose, I found Karina, and some other communities and some other people that was in Django. And in 2018, we start organizing the first Django, um, but we didn't uh, know how to start it, how to do it. And we asked for support from people uh, such as Renata from Pilate Spoa that helped a lot of things. Amanda from AfroPython and Fernando 
and Lucius for Angola, and they support us to to be uh, to how can you start? How can how can you find the resource to to organize the jungle girls? And at August we start organizing the second jungle that will have will happen in November, and, and we are hope that will be amazing, such as the first one. So, why Jungle Girls? Uh, we have decided to bring Jungle Girls to Mozambique because it's an event that uh, empowers women, call their attention for tech, and let them know that they are able to do whatever they want. Uh, it's a one-day event, and we can follow up the, 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 the interest, interested girls in the, in the field as long as they show that they want to go forward, and then we share more uh, um, uh, tools with them. Um, it's easy to understand. As you know, Python is one of the easiest languages to work with, uh, so everyone that goes into it, it uh, doesn't, doesn't find it that difficult to understand uh, as long as it has you know that um, how, how to work uh, with basic components for the computer. Uh, there are tutorials available. Uh, it's easy for us. All the material is there and then we can just boot a little bit the material in order to make it easy for everyone. And it's a pleasure to show uh, what we can do to share knowledge and be able to let everyone know that they can do more than what they think they can. So um, for our first Jungle, jungle Girls, uh, this is, we are going to try to describe how was it, uh, how difficult it was, who could support us, and which are the steps that we gave to organize it. So um, in the beginning, as my colleague was saying, we didn't know how to start. We didn't know who could support us, how uh, can we uh, organize an event like that. So what we have done is go forward with the people who have already organized it in other countries, uh, uh, catching the ex experience that they have and try to uh, do the same thing in our country. We have uh, asked for sponsors uh, for GitHub, Google and other local um, sponsor. It was very kind of difficult to get sponsored for inside of our country because not many people knew about Jungle Girls. Um, but we could have a bit of, of sponsors inside of our country. Um, so uh, get interested people. Uh, we could um, share the uh, existence of the event by using social networking uh, and publish the event in communities that already exist in the country, mainly the community working with tech, whatever uh, gender is it, like for girls and for guys. Um, and we were looking for support too within that uh, community uh, because that uh, the inside of the community we could find people that already organized all other events but not exactly Jungle Girls. So what we could do is to put a little bit of what they had a, as an experience and join with what we had uh, win for other countries. So uh, for our organization members, um, we could um, get part of them by the uh, application for the uh, coaches, uh, the ones that uh, make part of the community, that is Mutiana that is a, a, a community that works with girls and call them to tech there in Mozambique. Uh, we could talk to with most devs and we could share with the university students. So all the, everyone that was interested in joining to us came to us and gave us support to, support to organize the, 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 the conference. So for the application, we were, have the main proposal to select uh, girls but there were men <laughs> and guys to applying, <laughs> but it was not possible to call them. So for who had experience in working with Python, we just um, allocated them to the uh, um, to work as a uh, coach. 
so uh, for se selection, we have done the, we have used the same approach uh, of selecting according to the qualification of each participant and the no knowledge that they had. And the day, I'm going to let her share. <laughs> This is, a, this is a picture for 70 ap April 2018. And we, we had that incredible and wonderful women that attend to our workshop. And there was seven, seventh application and we get 13 Organi organize it and coach. So just and to let you know, the guys here are hidden. They didn't <laughs> want to appear in the picture. <laughs> I don't know why, but okay. And this is, this is a picture of our organizers and, uh, and, uh, and the coaches. And some some, some of them was af afraid to share the technology. They think, oh, I can't do, I can't do that. I, I, I did, did this, uh, I don't know how can I explain, but when they go to the workshop and teach that the girls, and after that they say to me, wow, oh, that is incredible. I, I didn't know that I can do something like that. And that was so incredible for us. And I don't know how I can explain that, but that was so awesome. And what about the material and participant, participant engagement? We could, we could not make a more session for the coach because we didn't have much time to to tell that or to uh, maybe show the resource, the, all the resource that can be used into the, to the workshop. But we, we, we have one session with the coaches and then they do by yourself at home that, uh, that was to uh, follow the tutorials and uh, then they get the thing to, I don't know what's happening. But uh, we have more challenge is for devices with the PC. We had participants that didn't have a computer and we, we, we take uh, our computer and, uh, learn and give them to use during the workshop. And uh, after that, uh, the, the, the girls are so in care, uh, let me do that. <laughs> and they show how amazing it was. So she was saying like it was amazing to see how girls could notice that they are capable of doing something that they couldn't imagine that they can do because sometimes um, we are underestimated because of our gender and our culture. and. It was such a great experience seeing that um, there are girls that didn't even have like the resources of uh, computers, but they still interested in learning and sharing uh, what they had with us. So. Um, this was supposed to be <laughs> <a story. laughs> but okay. So um, we could have more girls interested in programming because it was about um, 
girls that didn't have any experience as programmers and with uh, programming language. So we could bring them the attention. Some of them, they are still doing the, like the uh, secondary school, uh, grade 10 or, or 11. So they, uh, after that day, they decided that they are going to do the um, computer science, mainly programming. <laughs> and um, we could share the knowledge uh, that we had, and we could bring happiness uh, to other girls. Okay. And the benefits w that Django Girls Workshop bring to, to us, to the girls, to the community at all was uh, digital literacy because we are getting to this, uh, we call the, in Portuguese, we call era digital or, or era, uh, technology era, maybe. <laughs> and it's uh, a way to create, a way to use in creativity to solve the problems and competitive advantage advantage <laughs> if this is freedom to innovate because we don't have freedom to do something that we we like to do or uh, we can or when we don't know how can we don't know how can how uh, how far can we go then we don't have freedom to innovate anything and we, g we bring more women empowerment and the logical thinking. So what is next? Um, we are now organizing the second Jungle Girls in another city, um, the Tsmatola city. We are planning to do the event at 10 November. Um, we are expecting to have 30 women and 20 uh, coaches and organizers. The applications are still open. Um, we have, I think, uh, something like 15, yeah, 15. Um, people that already have applied it, but there are guys too there that <laughs> have applied. <laughs> um, so uh, the organization um, committee, uh, it's, uh, done oh, it's part of mm, at least 75 of percent of girls so please go. Uh, this is the team that is organizing the second jungle girls so most part of these girls were, were girls that participated in the first jungle girls they showed interest and then we pulled them to the organization for this event this time and we hope that next week or the next time <laughs> they will be able to come as in sh here and share with, with you the experience that they have. And our vision for the future is to get is to expand Jungle Guard all, all around all around of our country, maybe <laughs> on 2020. <laughs> we don't know, but we expect that. And is bring more women to more women and girls to touch, and give give more detail that follow up. We don't we don't have uh, we don't know if is a time or resource to give a follow up for those who apply to the workshop, and we we plan to give more follow up to those girls. And challenge, we have many challenge, but it's a life. And we have challenge to get more support for people who, have, who are interested for this kind of, of things. And we have challenge to arrange avenues. It's a big challenge. They, when they see the letters that we used to ask for space they didn't oh no uh, i think i will respond i will give response uh, later then they forget <laughs> and we for this 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 jungle the this next we stay 
two months to 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 have a venue, but now we are still uh, will be discussed for it. With, but is now next maybe <laughs> we have three or four weeks to 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 have the uh, the final response and. Who have difficult to find many girls interested in learning. Because we have girls that would like to learn how to program, how to do something different, how to innovate. But we don't have, uh, maybe is role model, I don't know, maybe is the culture, the this, 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 this society, we don't know. but. They come, they uh, register to attend to the event, but sometimes they disappear. And we don't know how can we, uh, yeah, well, how can you solve these problems? But we go on. And this is uh, one of the feedback that one, the, one girl gave for us at the last event. They say, in this event, it's possible to realize that everyone or anyone is capable, to, is capable of developing technology, tec uh, developing technology, technolo <laughs> technological <laughs> tools, tools. And young girls has come to say that women are capable of programming, coding, and create technology solutions. And this is one of my favorite feedback. And thanks for listening to us. Cool. Uh, do we have any questions? Hi. Um, that's so amazing what you're doing is amazing and I'm so inspired and um, I've, I've, I've heard your story and it's so I can relate to it actually because um, I've been a volunteer for two organizations which focus on girls where they teach girls but it's here in South Africa it's called social coding and Africa 10 gigs so I've had your I've seen your challenges and all that you, 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 you've been through, and I can see that she's crying, <laughs> not because of the challenges, but because of, um, because of the joy that she's having, and it's so amazing, because uh, that's something inspiring, uh, honestly. I don't have a question, but I just have a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. So well done, and keep it up. Hopefully, more girls will be interested, and more sponsors will be more attracted. Hi, um, I can relate. Uh, myself and Gordy ran Jungle Girls uh, Cape Town. Um, so I feel your pain on the getting <laughs> support and sponsorship and I think there's even a time that we kind of gave up. Um, but I, I really appreciate, the, like I know how emotional it gets um, putting on in all that hard work. So congratulations. Um, but I do have a few questions. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll keep it short. Um, you, you were speaking about, um, I know one of the problems that we had is it being a one day event and just changing the narrative from uh, we're going to teach girls to code to we're going to introduce them to something that they've not experienced before. Um, and I, I just want to know what your thoughts are around how to expand it outside of that because it's something we've struggled with and to keep the momentum. Um, we've had one girl who was part of our first event and um, she's kind of carried on and Cody's taken her on um, and mentored her. But to find people to support and, and carry on with other girls is really, really difficult. So I'm just curious to know, like, do you have any, like, how do you carry it on um, outside of your events? 
so that's my one question and then you can <laughs> answer my second question which is um, in what way can we contribute um, as like Django Girls Cape Town or South Africa um, to to helping you um, like what what kind of support would you need um, from us <laughs> okay. Um, the first one is kind of follow up that we can give to those girls. Uh, now we have um, is we 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 are creating a is a Python user group. And then uh, they create or they organize sessions. Maybe for now, uh, is maybe is the fifth, five. It's a fifth <laughs> no, no, session, and they training people from the scratch how to create the first hello, print hello with Python. And now they are on POO, Python or object oriented oriented. And we I have I have the job to send the invite to the girls because we have a group, WhatsApp group that we is not kind of follow up. But we share the information, we share the content of other language, but the main is Python, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And some, but some girls that attended the last event, they have to, they <laughs> go to the, to, the, the, to the session that this user group are created. But a few, a few, a few of them, because we have many. Uh, I can say is Barreira is challenge to to say that. Yeah, we have four sessions for Python. Is every Saturday until maybe November. Then we have to go at nine and. At night to at nine, nine p.m. <laughs> okay, nine a.m. until twelve, but they don't have time to attend those events. We don't know is a social culture. We don't know if we don't know why, but we would like to give a follow up. So, uh, in addition to what you were saying, uh, is that. We have some community groups uh, that have Facebook groups, um, WhatsApp groups, and every time that we have events uh, related to any kind of programming language, I'm going to try to speak about specifically Python. We have the events of training and give support for free. We share in the groups and we post in our status like on WhatsApp. And every girl that will have participated in previous um, uh, meetings or workshops, uh, and she shows the interest of g going forward with that, we share the same information with her. And, she, and if she is interested in going forward with that, she go, uh, 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 come to, 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 to the workshops and the lessons that we have to, to teach them how to program. Um, most part, we can say that uh, less than 50% of the girls that who have went to the first jungle girl are continuing inside of the community. Uh, it's like you can start and then in the middle of this process they give up. We still don't know what is the problem that uh, it's causing that. Uh, but we are still seeing what it's possible to do in order to call more girls and to call them uh, attention and give more detailed follow-up uh, in that process. Um, so about the support, uh, it will be great 
for us to have a talk and share the experience that you have and the experience that we have. Maybe there are some things that we are doing wrongly and if we could share, receive your information, we could correct the way that we are doing. Or uh, maybe we can share a bit of what are the challenges, what are the things that we have simplified in the process of uh, organizing the, 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 the workshop. And maybe we can see what, how can we join effort in, made, in order to improve this, the, this process. Yeah, great. Morning. Uh, from my side again, it's not. It's more like uh, a comment, not really a question. Reality of the matter is the fact that women empowerment. It's not something that we can keep on postponing. Uh, it is something that it was supposed to be done, as in like yesterday. Uh, it is impressive to see what you guys have been able to accomplish thus far. Thanks for being part of the solution that you really want to see. Lastly, thanks for moving Africa forward. Thank you. Hi, so I want to know how can someone like me, a Python coder, help? Like, how would how can I help Django uh, girls, Johannesburg? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I can say something there. We actually um, <coughs> some of our colleagues run Django girls Johannesburg, and they're at this conference. So, yeah, we can set you up. Oh. That's great. That's yeah. okay for me. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else we have time for one more question? Uh, so teaching programming is really hard, and I appreciate that you've shared, like you know, the, your journey and the fact that you put so much work into just making people happy because programming is is fun. Um, so I was wondering, I, you mentioned that you have a lot of um, secondary school people and be other, pe other people that might not have like a very strong background in just like being around computers and coding. Um, so how do you, because Django is like a full-fledged web, web app, so how do you get them used to programming concepts um, and what's that journey been like? Uh, so uh, one of the things that made us like choose Django is that they have the tutorials and the tutorials are very well done and it is easy to understand um, how it works. Like one of the requirements that we have when the applicants apply uh, to uh, as a as a interested to participate in the in the conference or in the workshop, we ask them what level of experience they do they have with com using the computer. So according to the response that they are going to give to us, they we will decide if the person is capable or not to participate in our Django Girls workshop. So um, the, wor the, the 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 tutorial material explains or give a, and give examples of basic steps for beginners uh, to uh, how to 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 declare a, 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 a variable uh, how to print the text hello world and it's very easy to understand as long as you have basic knowledge of how to use the computer and I want to increase something and we had tutorial in Portuguese that is <laughs> Hi, thanks for that talk. Um, there's a few fundamentals before you can build this platform that you're already challenging. The one, discrimination of sexes, society you've spoken about. The other one is telecommunications. You're trying to bridge a digital divide. Um, and, and Mozambique's a very, very big country. You need to bring the gaps closer together. Telecommunications is your one challenge. And when mm -hmm. you've got the students, and you've got the bums on the chairs, you need platforms. 
need, yes. need computers. So I, I don't want to talk mostly about the, the sociological things, but in each one of these, the, the way that you're pre presenting it currently is they are challenges. And, they, and not that they're not challenges, but I think the mental thing has to be is that you need to change it. And I think that's what you're doing. That's what your big message is, is that you, you're actually making a change. The next part is, how do you deal with telecommunications? And how do you deal with each student being able to have a computer? Mm -hmm. Are you using platforms like Raspberry Pi, which you can just carry around in your handbag, plug into an AC socket, and boom, you've got a Debian desktop, and you can install PyCharm, and everything else comes with it. And even if you can do that, how do you get all the information off the internet? Parts of Mozambique I've been to, man, to get a signal, I've got to climb the, climb the tallest tree or the tallest mountain. If you can just tell us how that's working for you. I'm not going to be No. <laughs> um, that's a great question. So, as we know, Mozambique is an uh, ongoing development country. We do not have a um, very good basis for technology improvement. Um, our, our country, uh, the, 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 the main part of the country is the city. It's Maputo City. And, but still, people know technology. You can go to the farm there. Far away, you can find someone using a phone like this. Um, it is possible to find people that understand uh, how to work with computer, the, 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 the how, to, how to write a text. It's not everyone. When we, when we look all over the country, we can say that only 10% or less have experience with that. So for that, uh, the persons who are, have that experience, we are trying to push them, and maybe they will be able to push the others. That is what, this is the approach that we are following. And one thing else, she had the experience, she was working as a uh, Africa Code Week. As a volunteer. As a volunteer. Uh, it's last, last week. Yes, maybe. last week. And I'm, I traveled to Nyasa, Lishinga, is north of Mozambique. And I think that they don't know how to use computer. And this, they, I have surprise. They use a the computer, they coding, they do. I think, no, it's not possible. This is too far for <laughs> capital, for city, but they use a the computer, they programming, they creating things, mm -hmm. and. We cannot and catch everyone, but, but that are people or groups of people who can know and they may be interested in going forward to this. Cool, thank you. Uh, that was a really great session. Thank you so much.